All right, we're going to talk about how to <clears throat> implement and close out a change. So the first thing we're going to do is visit this come jump site. Once this opens up, it's going to show us the uh, status. What we're looking for is all green bars. So we have one green bar, two green bars, a red bar, and another green bar. So what we want to do is look and see why this one's red. <clears throat> Essentially, you're going to read down through these and see if anything is, is happening at your site or may um, be impacted by the change you're, you're going to implement. You can click on the red box. It'll bring up some more information. You can read through these. Again, see if it has anything to do with what you're, you've got going on. You can also come over here if you're not sure, type in EOCC, scroll down to event management. And you could let them know that you're about to implement a certain change and you just want to make sure it's not gonna impact anything that's going on right now. You can just wait for a response to come back there. Once you verify that, you can open up your change. Again, we talked about our file cabinet and our shortcuts. If you have it saved in your shortcuts, you can come down and click on that link. If you have the change request number, you can search it. If you have the email that was sent out to you, you can click on the link. But anyway, when you end up at this page, you're gonna be in scheduled status. From the schedule, you're going to go to push to implementation. Once you're in implement status, you can go ahead and do your change. When you're finished, you're going to scroll down until you find this C task, implementation task open. Click the checkbox, close task. From there, it's going to close it out. When you see you're in closed status, you're complete.